volume and angle units. To get our volume and angle units, we're going to go uh, up on our tabs. We're going to go to Manage. We're going to go to Project Units. And then we're going to go to the Volume button. We're going to click right on the Volume button. And in the Volume, we're going to choose our units. We have cubic feet, cubic yards, cubic inches. On the metric side, we have cubic meters, centimeters, and liters. We also have liters and gallons. We measure most things, most materials in our building by cubic feet. That's not to say everything is. We typically measure our concrete work by cubic yards. So we're going to go with cubic feet. We're going to use two decimal places, and the unit symbol we're going to use is CF for cubic feet. Again, the little cube sign doesn't photocopy that well. I don't want to suppress the trailing zeros because I want to get accurate estimating information. Don't really want to use digit grouping. I'm going to say OK. Let's go to our angle units. I'm going to click right on our angle units and we're going to decide which angles, how we're going to set up our units for angles. Most people use decimal degrees such as, you know, uh, 12 degrees point 35 or 45.5, which 45.5 is halfway between 45 and 46 degrees. We're going to go with two decimal places. We're either going to go with two decimal places or one decimal place, uh, but two is good. The unit symbol is a little degree symbol. Uh, we usually put that in. It's hard to photocopy, but it's better than having none. And we can suppress the trailing zeros, but we don't like to do that. We don't want to make sure that we see it. And again, we don't use digit grouping that much. We'll say OK. So we have set the volume by clicking on the button. And we set the angle by cl no, clicking on the format button. So we have set the volume and angle units uh, in our project. And we've done that by going to the Manage tab. And we went over to our project units.